Come on. Come on. Hi, 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 hi. See, they come out with interest. If you're something, if they're watching something, they'd come out like they're eating, munching away the hay now. Do you know what I mean? I was born into this game. My father before me and his father before him. My grandfather used to buy troopers for the British Army, First World War. And then my own father graduated from him, buying and selling horses. And uh, I graduated from that into racing and riding and training a few. Our big export is selling it. But to complete cock up, I was always of the opinion that the Prime Ministers in England were always very well-educated fellas that had a great knowledge of everything else, and I would have thought that uh, David Cameron was a good grasp of everything. But obviously I read him wrong, or he read England wrong, because uh, he was the cause of it. He was the Prime Minister uh, when he put it to the people. And you'd wonder about Theresa May, how clever she is. She needn't have gone to the country for an election, and she did, and she lost. So, I mean, if you have people who think they know what's going to happen, and they get it arseways, phew, something wrong. I'd said they're all at the moment now, the four or five of them that are causing the biggest hassle are all thinking about what's going to come out of it for them, not for the country. They give you a pain sometimes talking about what's good for the country. I'd say basically, really deep down, it's what's good for me. Dublin port won't be big enough uh, to hold all the lorries that'll be there on hold getting in. In Dover the other day, they had a, a trial. Now, everybody who's been caught in the M50 at some stage and knows what it's like to be in a tailback, could you imagine a tailback from the Fe where the Phoenix Park race course is? You turned off there for uh, City West, right back up to Bray. That's what you're talking about, sitting in a car. And that's bad enough if you're in the car on your own. If you're there with a couple of kids and they're getting anxious, well, the same thing with a horse box. If you're in there and you have mares and foals, when they're moving, and the air is flowing and the ventilation is good, but you're parked above the box with a mare and foal or a horse ready to run in a race and in maybe the next day and he's six and seven hours stuck in the traffic. It's going to cause plenty of consternation everywhere, whether it's at the airports or at the Dublin ports or when you get there. It's just aggravation. And I think when you can try to avoid it, whether it's in a family or it's in business or it's in life, uh, the less things you can do to aggravate people, the happier we'll all be. And a happy nation is usually a prosperous one. In whatever walk of life, to go back is not a good thing. And I think this is going back, and that's not good. I mean, England over the years uh, were a powerful nation. For such a small country, they became a very powerful nation. And they crazed a lot of acrimony everywhere in lots of countries, and they're responsible for a lot of the troubles that they're now facing themselves. At the moment, 10 of the best stallions in Europe stand here in Ireland, and 80% of the horses that we breed here are exported to England, and 90% of the breeders in Ireland have less than uh, five mares. I mean, the huge, big organisations might be able to financially uh, put up with it, but a lot of the lesser fellows are going to be on their bended knees. It's only when it starts hitting your pocket uh, that you really feel the pain. You'll feel the pain, and, and what's really kicking you is it's not of your making. Uh, it's the English again. To me, the most important thing in life is good health. And as long as I have good health, both of mind and of body, I think I'll face anything. Uh, I'm not a whinger and uh, I think I'll get on with it. I think I'll get over it and get around it or get under it or whatever has to be done. We'll get over Brexit. We got over worse and we'll get over Brexit as well too. We have a good old setup here. It's suits grand. It'll be Katie's uh, when I close my eyes and uh, she's great. She's a great worker and she's a great knowledge of it all and a great love of it all. Now it's a hard life, but it's a good life. It's something I love doing and I wouldn't want to do anything else and so long as the Lord spares me and my health stays with me. Uh, I'd like to go out of here in a six by two. Hello, 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 hello.